hello guys welcome to let's talk diesel in today's video we're gonna check it out the cummins isx engine harness and as you can see with the engine out of the chassis as it is right now it will be easier to explain where each part of the harness is so to start this engine they need to take out the crankshaft because uh, it's gone all right so we're gonna start from one of the ends of the harness and it starts from here this is one of the ends and as you can see this is this this one has three pins and if we follow this hole in here it goes exactly in the exhaust manifold but it goes before the EGR cooler so probably this sensor in here is to measure the pressure before the EGR cooler all right then the next one in here as you can see here this one is the coolant temperature sensor the ones that goes up here yeah you can see it there right yeah you can see it only has two pins it means it measures temperature in this case so let's follow and we find the timing sensor which is located here you see from the front cover okay now let's follow the harness and we're going down here way to the bottom to find to find the crankshaft sensor you see it uh, seems like quite a pain to replace it but still is bearable so no big deal about that now we're going up again and we found the crankcase breather pressure sensor the ones located in here as you know this is the this is the filter the breather filter in this case because the crankcase they want the spins but this one's just the just the filter you know it fill it, it filters the that the filters the air that comes out from the engine so the oil can come back again to the engine supposedly right but as you can see for the blow by pipe the oil is still coming out from there so still they need to figure out how to fix that you can see this I believe this is part uh, I believe a few Cummins had this harness because I, ch I have replaced the filter before but it never comes with this part some of them comes another ones don't so this is to probably to tell you if the filter is clogged or not that's what i believe because it should be like like a i believe probably like a temperature sensor because it only has two wires usually a pressure sensor has three wires like this one so i don't know few of those i have never seen this one so often so now let's check it out the next part of the harness we followed in here okay as you can see this part in here this harness that you see here it goes to the uh, fuel for the fuel rail pressure sensor this is the one in here and the one in the bottom over there okay you see that one over there is for the intake throttle ball this part in here yeah in the newer uh, the newest Cummins uh, uh, the ones uh, 2020 they still come with this part and it's quite interesting because uh, Freilanders doesn't use it anymore they don't use the intake throttle ball anymore in their newer DD 13, 15, 16 applications so now let's follow the harness guys let's see hmm, okay let's follow here and you see this is the uh, intake boost and temperature sensor these are built together temperature and boost sensor are built together in this sensor in here okay now let's go around here this one is empty then goes for this one i believe this one probably is a fuse related to the engine or it's just a bypass 
and we have the injector harness which only has one entry here usually has two the other engines has two entry points but this one only has one okay let's go down and this is the main part that goes to the uh, ECM and you can see you have to remove it to replace the harness as well and the one here in here I know you're gonna be hard for you to see it let me see this one in here it's the oil pressure sensor and as you can see if the truck if the engine is into the chassis uh, it's quite a pain to replace it uh, but still it's you know bearable now let's follow the harness down here let's follow here you can see this part in here is for the fuel transfer pump the one that fills up the uh, the fuel filter when it's empty so that helps prevent the engine not to get get air into the system which i really like from cummins they're they're, they're really doing this for so many years now okay the next one in here the one here this is the oil temperature sensor you can see it, it looks like the, it's the same like the coolant temperature sensor but they are in different places okay now let's follow here and the last end of this harness as you can see it goes to the uh, the fuel pressure pump but this is for the high for the high side because this is the low pressure pump the one you see in here this is the low side but this is the high side okay and this is at another end of the harness okay now we're going back to the main junction in here okay and we're gonna follow another part in here you see here are the two um, this is the two connection that goes to the after treatment uh, injection you see this one this line here you see is fuel this one is fuel and this one that goes around here it's air okay once we open the one is to measure the fuel pressure the one in here and this one is to open and close the air so the air will go in like like putting pressure so it will spray into the def injector in the other side now we're done with these we're gonna follow the next junction in here that goes around the engine you see this one goes way around the engine and we follow behind the head there is nothing that's good because I hate when there is some connections here behind the engine because they're really hard to replace it some at sometimes not all the time but uh, when you have only two hands it's really hard okay we have the this is the uh, for the uh, uh, after treatment injector you cannot see it in here because they already removed it but this one's the connection for it and we have the other connection in here no not this one yet this one it's for the EGR valve you see connects over there in the EGR valve uh, next one in here this sensor I believe is for to measure the pressure after the EGR valve but I don't understand why Cummins did this because they already have another delta pressure sensor for the EGR valve I'm like okay I guess the EGR needs two separate pressure sensors we have in here the EGR temperature sensor but after the valve okay this sensor goes after the valve and this is another end from the harness we finishing here but now we need to go back again back 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 to this junction in here because you see there's another part that goes in here and we need to follow okay okay this part in here this is for the NOx sensor the intake okay you see yeah this is a really looks like Freilander intake NOx sensors we have the turbo turbo connections this is the one for the turbo speed sensor and the actuator all right okay four pins and the last one down here is for the starter model okay 
this one goes in the starter motor so you know it tells you if the starter is overheating it will stop uh, the starter you know to spin until the temperature goes down so I was forgetting this other end of the harness in here and I was forgetting too this part that you can see in here about this connection in here because this one goes to the uh, air solenoid the one that controls how much air is going to the after treatment uh, doser block and this part in here this big uh, connection in here this is the communication between the after treatment device and the ACM and the ECM sorry so um, this you have to if there is a problem related to the uh, after treatment device uh, let's say pressure sensors are not working or temperature sensors are misreading or knock sensors are not showing the right data you need to check the harness that goes after this all right guys this is a quick overview and how the engine harness goes around this engine i know it's take me a while to do videos guys but you know with all things going on around here in march to 20 in march 2020 you know coronavirus and all that kind of stuff it's really hard because in my company right now we need to you know take care of the trucks properly better you know because you know transportation can't stop moving as it is right now but thanks for watching and stay tuned for more i still have a couple videos in mind uh, for the next season you know and stay safe my friends and i'll see you in my next video bye